Hi, my name's Keith. Uh, when I have dreams that I remember, usually they happen uh, just before I wake up. Um, and then the stream I had this morning, there was a man uh, practicing a tennis. His tennis racket was missing half of the strings. Um, there was a section of the racket, there were no strings at all. Uh, and he just kept practicing. He was determined. He, he just kept going and going and going. And everybody's looking at us, you know, what the heck? doing. You know, they're saying those, those and the chuckling. And uh, he, he just kept practicing. He was determined. He kept going. I looked at him and I was just like, wow, you know, it, it's not what you have, it's how you use what you have. And uh, he looked around, he turned around and looked at me. And he looked at me in the eye and he says, uh, you're right. Uh, I remember his face was a little more round. He had some fuzz on his chin. He turned around and he kept playing. Um, and then that's when I woke up, and I started thinking about the dream, and I started thinking about my guitars. I play three strings. Uh, a, a guitar has six strings. I play three. <laughs> and I'm not playing on the best guitar there that's ever been made. Um, the one I've been playing for a year now is uh, it's a first act, ME uh, 315. Uh, I completely tore it apart, I built it the way I wanted. Um, only a 250k volume pot for the humbucker, uh, so it gives more of a, a darker, heavy tone to it, and I like that. Uh, the pill quality, that's okay, you know. Yeah. But then I got I got an Epiphone SG uh, over the winter, and I recently just uh, dismantled it, um, and I'm building this. Uh, it's uh, cutting the circulation off of my arm because I, I hold the guitar like this, and I have to uh, contour that f uh, for my uh, my uh, physical ability to play it without my fingers going to sleep. Because I've been having trouble as far as uh, fretting the string and plucking the string at the same time, and I think that's it. I've been having other issues with my arm, you know, working that all out. But this this first act. I don't know how many years ago it was built. It's Walmart guitar. You get them at Walmart. Uh, it has a bet better build quality than the Epiphone SG. And that is an actual instrument you'd get from a music store. So I'm kind of surprised about that. So it's, and it's not even the name of the product you're getting, it's the quality. And it's hard to get something quality at a good price anymore because of the way. Well, you know, manufacturing and everybody's got money in their pockets except the people that are buying the cheap guitars, it seems, right? Um, I'm, I'm building that one and then I got a, I got a Star Trek guitar I'm going to be playing when they beam me up to the mothership. So, it, it's not what you have, it's how you use what you have. And uh, just remember that. Next time you see a tennis racket with a bunch of missing strings, maybe it's warped. Don't think you can't play tennis with it just because it's not a perfect specimen of what somebody would use to play tennis with. A specimen, like it's alive, right? Well, it becomes a party when you're playing, so I guess you could say that. Um, and, uh, you know, I've seen a video of uh, Bruce Lee playing uh, ping pong. With nunchucks, he's not using a tennis racket or a ping pong bat, uh, paddle. He's sitting with the nunchucks, and I don't know how he can just tap it the way he does, because th those nunchucks are just flying everywhere. Uh, so click on this uh, video here, and uh, you'll get to see that it's interesting. He's not playing with the ping pong bat at all, and he's uh, whooping two guys that are just back and forth all over the place. Um, and you know. It, you don't have to have a lot of money to have something that's good. You know, it's all in the heart. Uh, Jesus, he was uh, born in a barn uh, in rags. <laughs> right? I mean, this should say something. I wear rags, I don't know. They're just comfortable. Like old clothes, you know? Yeah, some of you guys might too. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, I hope this, uh, maybe this uh, kind of uh, helped you think a little differently. Because um, I know I think differently. I've had a stroke. And, uh, 
It's always fun trying to convey my thoughts to language because I really have to think about what I'm saying. So, um, I'll thank you for watching and uh, uh, you'll see me in the next video. Um, sometime soon, maybe. Take care. Uh, if you like my music, great. If you don't, great. <laughs> I don't care. Give me a thumbs down. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter who watches my stuff because I'm doing it for uh, a purpose that I don't need recognition for. I know what I'm doing. And that's what it takes. Don't care about what people think of you. Just like that man is playing tennis. Don't, don't care. Use a baseball bat and smack some tennis balls around, some golf balls. That's a lot of fun. Baseball bat, golf balls. Lots of fun. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.